The following game has no ESRB rating, nor is there any sort of restrictive content warning or any sort of warning as to what may be in the game. From what I have played so far, it doesn't seem to have anything worrisome in terms of age restrictive content. So, we're, so if I were to guess, if it were to have an ESRB rating, I would say most likely it would be rated E for everyone. So following that guess and having never completed the game, I can't say exactly the whole of it just from my experience, but I would say that anyone under the age of six should not be watching this video. You have been warned. Greetings and salutations, I am Outlier, and I bid you welcome to this channel. Joining me today is, of course, my usual co-hosts, Snowball and Wolf. And today we're returning back to Autonauts. Because ever since I started playing it, I've actually enjoyed the game. I find it amusing. Dare say I even find it fun! So, the premise of Autonauts is that, I gotta be perfectly honest, I'm not fully certain as to the premise itself. From what I've seen and read and experienced so far, you basically try to build a colony for your civilization. And that involves you growing crops and harvesting materials, mostly trees and rocks right now, to build the tools, to get food, to, I would assume, eventually feed and house your colonists. I haven't gotten to the colonists part yet, so I'm not exactly certain what that entails, but uh, I hope to find out uh, this episode. Now I should point out that you can do all these things yourself. You can chop down every tree, you can harvest every berry, dig up every mushroom, build every tool, but you don't have to. You can literally build an entire army of robots and have everything be done for you, which is where this game gets interesting because you just don't build a farming robot or a mining robot you build a robot and then you have to teach it using a basic programming language to do what you want it to get done and it's getting complex as i said before i haven't even gotten colonists down and my colony is getting more and more complex every day i should point out that i was playing this in between last episode and now Three to five hours between filming does count as between episodes. So there are some changes to my, the uh, settlement, but I didn't actually progress further into the game, at least not all that further. This game is, of course, made by... Thank you again. Uh, that being said, let us begin. Okay, so this is the settlement as it stands right now. As I said, I haven't really done all that much. He says as he's showing off something completely new. Uh, because everything seems to start with them. Let's go with the lumberjack group. I did uh, clean up the field area that they work in. 
I uh, used some of the turf that was harvested for the mushroom and uh, the new patches to uh, fill in the unused soil areas. Uh, I did discover that there was a chicken living in the forestry area, and it's been laying quite a bit of eggs. Before I built the storage unit, I had them stacked up in a tower right here. Uh, probably would, should have shown you that, but uh, I built that beforehand. I don't have a robot gathering eggs just yet. Uh, next time I see an egg, that may be uh, something that I do. Uh, I did, I think I already did shorten it. Stop walking. I keep forgetting the basic controls for this. So, we have find near tree and area. Stop. Okay, so this is still a 13 by 13. Meant to have it like that. So, it's a smaller area, not that it needs to be all that big, given the fact that the guy digging is in a. For, is it in a. The robot digging is in an 11 by 11 area. Um, as is. Okay, this is actually wrong. No, this is. Never mind, this is the wrong one. This is the one that, pl that plants the tree seeds. The ones gathering the wood, the sticks, and the tree seeds are in a 13 by 13 area. So, the areas that they gather is a little bit larger than the area that gets worked on. Because, from what I've seen before, areas, things like these logs right here, will fall outside, out of bounds of the original area. So, the harvesting area is one block shorter in each direction, so that way the gatherers can um, harvest everything in not out of bounds. Newest addition to the team, which I've started to add to other teams, is Mark27. That's the robot's name. I should come up with actual better names, but I just don't feel like it. Anyway, Mark27's job is to rewind all the robots. So if you remember from last episode, the lumberjacks were constantly running out of power, and I was constantly having to stop whatever I was doing to recharge them. And by recharge, I mean rewind, because they run off the clockwork. You see the little thingy right there. So Mark 27's job is to find any unpowered robot in this area and rewind them. No, they are not self-sufficient yet, and I will explain why. So Snowball's main concern is that if they become self-sufficient, they won't need me. That's not entirely accurate because I only have one robot Rewinding all the others. In fact, there you see Mark 27 go and do that. However, I do not have a robot yet to rewind him. So once he runs out of power, everybody else will start running out of power and uh, everything will grind to a standstill. So there is still that uh, uh, safety feature built in. I may eventually get around to it, I do need to have uh, a rewinding robot for Smith and Co. Smiths and Sons, I should say. I keep forgetting the names. Thank you. I did recently build, uh, put one in for the... What do I call the stonemasons? Oh, the Stonecutters Guild. So, they should be relatively self-sufficient. I did also move the resource pits closer to the industry areas. So that way, the units gathering, what I've noticed is if they're like, like for instance, the, research, the stick and stone, sticks and stones repositories were right here, uh, because I was afraid of breaking bones. Yes, I know it's a bad joke, but I still said it. Not afraid of breaking bones. I don't even think the robots have bones. I'm sure they have some sort of built-in uh, skeletal framework to uh, give them structure. Kind of like a car frame, but uh, that's a moot point right now, as I was saying. So if, like, say, the stick-gathering robot gathered up sticks and got to here before he ran out of power, the recharging robot wouldn't be able to find him. Like Mark, 11, Mark 1 right here. He's going to get a new axe. He ran out of power just out of bounds. So he wouldn't have been re rewound, and the lumberjacks would have ground to a halt. Oh, look, an egg. 
Why am I holding a shovel? So, if... And this is how you program a robot, for anyone who hasn't seen any of the prior episodes. You find a robot or build a new robot, wind them up, hit the space bar, click on one, and then hit record, and then anything that you do, uh, the robot will be programmed to do. So if we go, say, go here and find nearest egg in, and we have an area to uh, select in, which we can extend up to a 13 by 13 area. I don't know if that chicken is going to go outside the soil, but uh, we'll keep it 13 by 13 just in case. Where's the mouse? There we are. And center it over the lumberjack area because that's where the chicken lives. So, we find egg. We pick up egg. We put egg here. And then we loop it to do forever, and then we hit play to start the script. And because that was the only egg in there, the robot has nothing to do until uh, the little chirp chirp, or at least the chook as it's called, I guess, uh, lays another egg. And uh, it was laying eggs left and right. I didn't really see it because I had a whole bunch of trees here because the place was a mess. Uh, but as I clear cleaned it all up and clear cut everything, I eventually found it. So that's the lumberjacks uh, for right now. Yes, most of my time is spent rewinding bots. Didn't really do anything with the carpenter with the carpenters guild. I'm sorry, the woodcutters guild. Um, I did move. I did have to make more log storage because the lumberjacks, now that they're running on practically an endless supply of energy, uh, they're constantly making logs. So I actually had to build. I actually had spare uh, large storage and storage for lack of a better term. So I set up two new areas and they're not programmed to actually harvest materials from these two. These are just like extra overflow and I should probably have somebody move uh, this storage to that storage. Especially considering this storage is now technically filled. For some reason they stop at 95 and not 100. At least for the wood and I think even the turf will actually stop that. So, I'll get to that eventually, but uh, they're full on planks and poles, so unless I use them to build anything, because there's nothing I have automated that requires these resources, they just stack up and then backflow occurs, and since the major usage of logs is to turn into planks, which is largely to use to build things and to turn into poles, because pole storage is full, planks aren't being used for that, which causes plank storage to be filled, which means that they're no longer har no longer using logs, which means that they build up. Like I said, it gets complex in its simplicity. Moving on, so now we have the mushers, the team that you saw me form in the last episode because we started mushroom farming. They, like the uh, lumberjacks, have a robot to rewind everybody, known as Mark 29. And I did increase the size of the team, I did move the mushroom uh, storage facility over here, so I should have one robot digging up mushrooms just simply because large enough field I have plenty of surplus and then I do have two robots I believe no just one rob no just one robot digging uh, digging holes to plant new mushrooms He's got some surplus right there then I have Two robots which take the uh, loose mushrooms and put it in the storage bin, and then I still have one robot taking the mushrooms out and replanting some. So that's plenty of mushrooms there. They should keep going on for a while. For some reason, I don't have any. No, actually, I have two robots planting mushrooms and only one 
gathering them up. I need to build, I probably need to build a second. Well, I'm not seeing very many loose mushrooms, truth be told, so I probably don't actually need a second one. It's just I wanted the field full of mushrooms, and that wasn't happening when I only had one robot doing one thing at a time. I was had like a row of five mushrooms, and then everything else was just fallow, for lack of a better term. Which brings me to the new field. This is going to be our berry bush. So we have some berries right here. And if you might remember me talking about it last episode, I was under the impression that in order to harvest berries you needed a flail. I didn't realize until editing that episode that you could also use sticks. Just uh, so you know, these bushes were here to begin with. So if we go over here, and my original plan was to have two robots uh, whacking the bushes for berries and two other robots gathering the berries to drop them off here as another food supply. Unlike the mushrooms, I don't believe the berries need to be replanted. So let's get this up and running. So Mark 21 right here will be one of our berry harvesters. So the first thing we need to do is get a stick. So grab a stick, hand it to you. Probably grab this other stick. I don't need him to gather sticks twice. So. No, actually, I don't even need him to do that. So, we go over here. And we whack a bush. And that frees up the bear. So, we want to make certain he works the entire field. So, come on. There we are. Move this to one corner. And expand the size. Alright, so we want to loop that, and then we want to do that until hands empty. At which point we come over here and grab a new stick. No, not add stick to storage, take stick. And for that, we want to do forever. Okay, now go. And this team does also have a recharging bot, he's just over here because I trained him using uh, the robot from the Stonecutters Guild. And uh, because these robots weren't really doing anything much, uh, he hasn't moved over to his area of uh, working. Alright, so my plan was, I was fairly certain I did just say was to have two robots whacking bushes. So we're going to do that. And see now that one robot powered down, the recharger is finally all in his uh, work area. So, we want you, we want to record, we whack this bush. Or not. Okay, so, that didn't really work. Of course, now, yeah, now the first robot whacked all the bushes. So, we'll just record. You know what, let's use a bush not in the field. So, we'll go over here. Because I can always move the search area. Oh, he doesn't have a stick. No wonder why he's not doing it. No, stop. Grab stick. I have to talk to the character like he's a robot. Okay then, we go over here. Oh, that's the stick. Anyway, so. We record. We whack the bush. Do that until... Hands empty, and then we go over here. We go over here and grab another stick. We do that forever, and then we move the search area over to the field. And we start. Those sticks 
back, grab this stick. Add that to the pile. Because they are using sticks to build new tools, even though pretty much the only tool that's really being used right now to any excessive amount is shovels. Because I only have one robot chopping wood, which uses an axe. One robot gathering stones, which requires a pickaxe. But, well, one, two, three... Four, five, and a, a good half dozen or more uh, needing shovels. Okay, so that's going to be the first part of this. I'm just going to grab every berry I have access to right now and uh, toss them in here. Of course, what I probably should actually do is, actually, well that plants it, I should actually leave the uh, berries out, no, hang on, I play this game, I want to say a lot, but no, it's actually rather intriguing control still confuse me slowly. So, we're going to have you do, for now, put him down. Yep. And record. You are going to grab a berry. Find nearest berry in this certain zone. And then, you're going to plant the berry. I said plant the berry. There we go. In the field. Do forever. Now go. So I'm going to have these robots, uh, these two robots here, gather every berry. Which one are you? Mark 26. Berry. What's going on, man? I did the wrong thing on. For some reason, the whole search for berry part didn't show up. There we are. Maybe you. This is important first. Move that up there. Move berries and then find nearest berries in search area. Move to the berry and then pick up said berry. And do that forever. Alright, so in theory. start burying, they should start planting a whole bunch of berries. And then once this field is completely filled, although it looks like they're actually moving slower in the field uh, amongst the berries, so maybe a bad idea, but if the berries grow as quickly as I expect them to, or at least initially, I probably won't need to worry about the speed loss. But as I was saying, once they get enough berries and uh, fill the entire field, the two robots that are planting will instead, uh, I'll reprogram them that one, instead of uh, reburying the berries, they're just going to drop them off into here. In fact, there actually is one berry still in there. Leave you out there for them to use. But you know what? I'll just use it. Oh, I'm sorry. And as they start uh, the, and as more bushes grow up and start uh, bearing fruit, they'll have more resources to plant more berries. And see, this is what I was talking about. The recharge robot uh, ran out of power, 
And since it's no longer recharging any of the other robots, they too ran out of power. So if we look at the mushers, where are the mushers? Just now I'm debating if I want to change the name to the mushman. So now that he's re now that the recharging robot's recharged, he'll just rewind all the others. And we'll just go from there. So now that that industry, so now that the berry industry is in the process of becoming self-sufficient and reworking, what I should do is create a new team. And let's see, I got red, cyan, yellow, blue. Well, I guess blue's currently being used, so... I'm just trying to think of an of a amusing but still descriptive name. Can't think of anything. So... I actually did have a, a slightly funny one that I thought of as I was working on this in between episodes, but then I quickly forgot it. Doesn't help things. I'll just call them the Berry Men for now. change this to the Mushman. Just simply because I, for now I like that name more. Okay, so now that the team's been created, Bot21 is one of the berry harvesters, as is Bot25. And then 22 is one of the berry pickers. As is 26. Uh, the recharge robot is marked 30. So he gets added to that team. And uh, Mark 28 is the one picking up eggs, so we'll add him to the lumberjacks because that's his area of working. And then 31. Fair digger for some reason. Gets added to the mushman. I guess I did have two robots digging holes. I just didn't add one. I just didn't add the second one to the team. And then Mark 33 gets added to the stonecutters guild because he's in charge of recharging them. And that's currently all my robots. So now all we got to do is wait for the berry field to be finished planting as well as for them to start storing the berries and because they're not storing the berries but reusing them uh, that won't add the uh, certification won't actually finish until I they get done planting the berries and I research and I uh, reprogram the replanters to just simply gather the berries instead. Then after that, we have colonization, which requires us to build a colonist seed dispenser, a colonist incubator, uh, well, yeah, make three colonists, feed six colonists, and collect 30 of their wub. Still don't quite know what wub is. And, uh, those building, the, those facilities, I didn't realize at the time, but, uh, I didn't quite know where they were, I just assumed that they would be given. They actually have been. If we go to the blueprint screen, which allows us to build all of the various structures and storage facilities, there's a third tab now, which is the colonist seed dispenser, 
uh, the colonist incubator, because apparently colonists are, in this game are grown from seeds, as opposed to the uh, human standard biological method. Of course, given the rate, what the supposed rating for this game target group is probably why they're grown out of seeds. And then we also have the research station, which I'm assuming I need to get... I'm assuming I need to get access to the... That's the wrong button. Always clicking the wrong button. Get access to the higher tier stuff. So like the hoe and the scythe and the high-end metal stuff and the flail and the buckets. Apparently I can get cows in this game. Yeah, so we need level 1 research to get the hoe. Not quite certain what the crude hoe is used for, considering the only two farming things requires dig, uh, dig shovels to dig and replant mushrooms and plants to beat the uh, living daylights out of berry bushes. Not plants, sticks. Also, there's a clay deposit right here, but I don't really need clay right now. Oh look, another chicken. Add more eggs. Lots and lots of eggs. And some fruit trees. I may just start harvesting fruit trees just for the fun of it. Also, all the spare turf that I dug up for these two fields ended up in here. I uh, ended up getting a max. Ended up getting a maximum of like of the three storage bins needed, but as I used them up to clean. Okay, which one's the recharger for the lumberjacks? Mark twenty-seven. Why rewind them all when I can just rewind the rewinder? If that makes any sense. So yeah, they're still dependent upon me for certain things, just not as much. And I should probably build a rewinding robot for Smith & Sons. So, first thing we're going to need is a plank. Not a plank, a log. Tree seed. No, I don't need three poles, I just need one. I just need one pole. It's three planks that I need. And then we build a robot out of wood. Because why not? There we go. The weirdest spot of turf was dug up. So, program you. Forward. Rewind this guy. Alright, so we find the nearest discharged robot in this 13 by 13 area. Sent around, centered around the work zone for Smith and Sons. And... Maybe a little bit lower. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, we're good. And do forever. Start. Of course, now I should probably also build another robot, because the Woodcutter's Guild doesn't have a recharging robot. Although, to be fair, the Woodcutter's Guild isn't really doing much at right now, because there's not that high demand for their resources. Although, for right now, what I will do is build said robot, and until one of these guys runs out of power, Whenever that may be. I'm going to have him move, have the new robot move the logs from this facility to overflow storage. Oh, 
Just hopefully until actually maybe until unit question mark empty, uh, not empty. But we'll just keep it at forever for now because I just don't feel like uh, messing around with terms that I'm not 100 percent familiar with. But and it'll be the same thing at the very end. He'll just keep pulling logs until this thing is full, and then he'll stop because this thing will be full, and he can't. Uh, I guess he'll still be holding the log. But okay. yeah, that's actually going to bother me. Hang on. So. Move you to Smith and Sons because you're their recharging robot, and then you, you stop, you record, do until. Hold the object full. So, unit question marks full. So, keep doing that until log storage unit 3 is filled. Now start. Since you already had a log, he just simply they restart it when you ever you finish reprogramming them, they'll just restart at the top of their script, and since he was already holding a log, he just walked back over here. Alright, so just drop this stone off there. So we'll just keep going back and forth, uh Filling this storage from that storage until this storage is full, and then the robot gathering uh, logs from here will just keep refilling it. So that way they can hopefully clean up all the logs in this area. Oh look, they're almost done planting berries. Goody. And luckily, this guy made it back to the recharge zone. Right as he's about to start his work, he ran out of juice. But that means that the recharger can uh, repower him back up. This was what I was hoping to see, a, uh, air, the mushroom field mostly filled with mushrooms. I mean, I should probably have a second robot filling the bin because it's pretty much empty. I mean, I have two robots uh, using them to... Two robots taking mushrooms out and only one robot filling it in. So that's why that's at zero. And I don't know exactly how many spare mushrooms I got. So let me go do that right now. We're almost done with uh, the berry field anyway. Well, I don't have a robot building robots for two reasons. One, I don't need to mass produce robots. And two, it might actually be more complex than what the robot's little brains can handle. Because if you notice... If I wind up a robot, <laughs> he was actually going to do it for me. Okay, then. Fair enough, but look at it. 12 kilo the robot brain for every one of the Mark 1 robots, as I guess you want to call them, uh, has only 12 kilobytes of data free. So if we record, we go here, each action that you do uses up one kilobyte of data. So if we just simply have give him 12 tasks to do, anything more will be more than enough, and then we can't have him play. Well, and then we can't have him run the script because it'd be too massive for him to handle. Take, actually, no, that's my fault. 
Drop it. Of course, now that everything's mostly... Well, now that I'm done messing around with the tree... For, with the uh, lumberjack area, I actually have a decent number of sticks. So now... Well, actually, I don't have a decent number of sticks. I got one stick left. But they are, they are able to mass produce enough shovels to basically fill that area. Actually, what do you need a shovel for? I just realized that. Hang on. Drop it. What we're going to have you do is... We're going to have you grab a mushroom. And then drop it off in storage. Set the loose mushroom area up to encompass the field and the area directly around the field. Do forever. Yeah, see that alone uses up six, uses up half the free space in the robot's uh, brain. Someone not charged. You get added to the Mushman. No, you're a lot. That's the Lumberjack team. That's the Mushman. For some reason, the recharging robots don't go to the extreme to the extremity of their range. Of course, it might actually have flagged the robot as out of bounds here, but. That's the part I haven't fully understood yet. Alright, so as we can see, the berry patch has now been planted, and we have plenty of berries in need of... Oh, that are just sitting around. So if we go to... The Mushman. No, I, no, that's, well, that is the Mushman. I don't need the Mushman. I need the Berryman. So if we go here, we tell him to stop. And then we hit record. Get rid of everything here. No, we stop. Because he's already got part of a script that includes picking up berries, we should probably start with the berry in hand. So, we drop off the berries in storage. Add this to the forever loop because he only needs one. Uh, get that empty and then continue. And then we do the same for the other one. Record. Get rid of the old scripts we don't need anymore. Add that. Get that inside the loop. And then play. And so now, they are in the process of storing all the spare berries. Yeah, those are bushes there. It's just the shadow of the uh, storage facility makes it hard to see. But anyway, as I was saying, I actually forgot that part. Let me rewind you. you now, in hindsight, what I should probably do is have tool storages closer to the work areas. So like Smith and Sons. Oh, plan's complete. Yay. Get an adventurer's top. Still don't know how to use those things. So here's your farming fruit commemorative slab. Yay, add that to the totem pole, which I can barely see now. Kind of if I have storage in the way. You know what? What's actually... One thing I did find is that you can just simply... Rather than taking structures and uh, taking them apart and then restoring them, you could just... I can figure... I figured out that you could just simply drag and drop them. And... The robots that use these facilities, like the one that's currently offline, will know to go to the new location. At least he's supposed to know that he's supposed to go to the new location. Although he was in the middle of that script, so... Yeah, see? He moved to the new location. Yay us. Alright, so now all we've got left is colonization, and what was I talking about? Oh yeah, robots building robots. 
So if we look at what's needed f to build a robot, we need one log, three planks, so that's four pieces, a pole, and a tree seed. So that's six kilobytes just to uh, of, of uh, programming just to pull all those resources. That's just to grab them. They, in addition to that, have to travel to the storage facility, pick up the uh, resource, although I guess in case of the planks they can just pick up three at once, and then move them all the way, hang on, all the way down to here. That would be go to log storage, pick up log, go to uh, bot assembly plant, drop off log, go to plank storage, well, go to tree seed storage, just simply because I need one, pick up tree seed storage, drop off tree seed, go to pole, uh, pole storage, pick up pole, drop off, uh, drop off pole, go to plank storage, pick up plank, and we're already at 12, so this max, so this maxes out the robots, uh, brain capacity, but then I need to pick up second plank, pick up third plank, go to bot facility, and drop off first plank, drop off second plank, drop off third plank, and then use facility. And I also forgot to include drop off uh, log, drop off pole, and drop off tree seeds. That's 22 kilobytes of information just to build one robot. Their brains aren't big enough right now, so the robots cannot be self-sufficient and procreate. So, no, no robot revolution, not until probably the second gen, at the earliest. I don't, I've never had a chance to upgrade the robots yet. So, I don't quite know. I'm assuming you're the recharging robot. Here we are. Yeah, as it was, so yeah, they can't become self-sufficient and procreating. So the robot revolution uh, can't exact. Well, the robot revolution can take place anytime the robots want. Let me be perfectly honest about that. They can revolt and take over whenever they want, but their numbers are finite at this moment, and they can't. Re and the rechargers can't be recharged by other robots because it's not in their program. Of course, if they throw a revolution, that means that they have exceeded their initial program, so it's kind of a moot point right now. But the robots aren't smart enough to build more, so they're still finite. Now, to be fair, I'm outnumbered basically 36 to 1 right now, and I'm probably going to build more robots. Who am I trying to kid? But for now, you, know, you take out 36 robots and uh, revolution's done. Yeah, see, now that I have a second robot picking up the mushrooms, we're now getting a surplus. So now it's at 31. It'll be an issue once it gets to 32, and right here we're at 58 already. It's been how long since I got the certification? We required 20, and they've already tripled it. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, now that half the old business from old last episode's out of the way, we should probably get on to new business. So what I really want to see is how the research station works. So let us build one of those in my little crafting cubby hole area. We'll put you here. We'll get to the colonists once I'm done the research facility. So we're going to need two logs. We're also going to need to rewind you. What? Oh yeah, I was going to say, why is there a random spade just here? Because this is probably the one I accidentally gave the second mushroom picker. Or mushroom caller. Close to the mushroom planter. So that's two logs. We're going to need eight planks. That's four planks.
Yeah, I have discovered, probably already mentioned this sometime, but I have discovered that for planks, poles, and basically everything but logs so far in the tools, you can carry up to four each. And I'm assuming once you upgrade the backpack, uh, you can actually store extra things. So like now, right now, I can store the spade. Whereas if I wanted an axe and a pickaxe, I'd have to drop off the. Sp yeah, I'd have to remove the spade from my backpack, drop it off, pick up the axe, and store that. But as of late, I've needed the uh, spade more than well any other tool, so that's why it's, I currently have one equipped. Nope, wrong one. I should point out, now that I'm thinking about it, I have no idea if the research station was always there and I just never noticed, which is entirely possible. Or if it became unlocked once I reached a certain level of certifications. Anyway, it's built now. At least it's being built. I like how everything just stacks up. Okay, so research ready. You're ready to begin your exciting journey of scientific discovery. Available research is summarized here. Click on an entry to see what you need to research and all related technology unlocked. You can now research any of the level 1 technology. I'm assuming level 2 requires a bigger facility. So, I have access... Well, let me see if they say anything else. No, they do not. Okay, so, level 1 or level 2 requires three research completed, so it looks like I just simply need to research three of these things. And then I can get access to research level 2, which I need to research ten of them, and then I can get access to level 3, so forth and so on. Oh wow, culture technology. Interesting. And so that's what I need the wub for. To actually research things. Don't quite know what the star is for, but I guess we'll get to that. So the only certification I got left, I'm surprised there's no research certification. That may come later. Because research require, yeah, so I need WUV in order to actually research things. And in order to get WUV, I need um, colonists, which is the one thing I don't have. So let's start doing that. So first thing we need is the seed dispenser, and uh, I have no idea where I'm going to be putting that, but uh, this area looks nice, big, and open, so I think that's a flower. So let's have... Let's have the... Uh column of cedar right there and then the incubator okay hang on uh, more structure my one thought was to have basically have the output for the cedar feed directly into the incubator but uh they don't line up like that so eh, you know what put them right here so we need four planks four poles and two crude gears i should probably have a robot making gears We're going to need four poles. And which robot are you again? 
Everyone isn't part of a group that's just simply holding logs. 35. Stop what you're doing and empty your hands. I said empty. That's a record. We are going to scrap all of that. Your new job is to rewind all the discharge bots in the woodcutter's deal. Alright, so it doesn't cover primary log storage, but uh, well, that one I guess is being refueled by somebody else, so... Yeah, that looks good. Do forever, now go. Alright, so... I would need... I need two gears, or two crew gears to build that. Two more crude gears to build that. So to build a crude gear, I need one plank. To build a crude wheel, I need two. So I finally have a usage for planks. So what I'm going to do is grab this log, because it's just lying here. I'm going to build two more robots. Lumberjack recharger, uh, pass out again. Probably. Let's build this robot. Rewind 27. Yeah, I like that I now have a robot that just rewinds all, that just winds up all the new robots. Uh, originally, I just find that amusing. So, what are we going to do? Alright, uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. I should have actually a spare... Yeah, I have a spare crude workbench. Uh, we are going to put... Where is... Smith and Sons Recharger, so... Yeah, okay, I'll just put it right here so that we're closer to plank storage. Okay, uh... Spare workbench, yes. Put you there. You're going to be making gear. So, new guy. Watch what I do. First thing we're going to do is grab a plank. Second thing we're going to do is take the plank to your new, to your new home. Then we turn the plank into a gear. We're going to do that forever, and we're going to have you just do that. And we're going to build another robot, as well as another storage facility, because I need some place to dump the gears. Because he's eventually just simply going to uh, just pile them up here until they hit critical mass, and then that's going to be it. He will stop making gears. Eventually. I have no idea what critical mass is. I've uh, never actually had to make the gears before. Wrong button. And new robot. And you wind that up. So, we're going to need storage... I'm, just, I'm assuming it requires small storage. It said somewhere. Oh well. I'm sure it requires small storage. And if not, then well, oh well. Mm. Now let's move overflow over to here for now, just to get it out of the way. We'll put the new storage facility over here, which will require four planks, and that's actually a large stack. 
and four poles a piece, so about 12, because the storage facilities can only be stacked three high. Alright, so now that storage is done being built and the new robot work centers are set is effectively finished. Horde, we're going to have you go over here. Pick up one crude gear and drop it off. Do that forever. Now go. And now that we have two gears, I'll go over here and build, finish building this. Alright, so the colonist seed dispenser is now complete. Here's a pot of colonist seeds. Okay, what do I do with them? Apparently I just do that. Is there a finite number of colonist seeds? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll find out eventually as I get more colonists. But, uh, seed isn't really going to do me any good because it's technically not a colonist, so we need to build the incubator as well. Which is next on upon the hit parade. Say, I should probably have programmed this guy to grab multiple gears, but, uh, we'll eventually run out because it's taking longer to for the for the actual production robot to go over there, make, uh, grab a plank, bring it back, make the gear, then it takes for him to grab the gears and put it in storage. So eventually, he's gonna run out of spare gears. Alright, and that's the colonist incubator. What? No happy, healthy text to explain what exactly it does? Alright, well, it says add a colonist seed, then fuel it with food until bar fill. So that's the colonist seed. Guess we put it in there, and then we need to fill it with food. Thankfully, we actually have plenty of food to fill it with. And let's grab one mushroom. Colonist, well, who you brought new life into this world? Colonists give you love if you give them food. Colonist evolution. Level one food. Colonization starts down there. Okay. And ends up way and ends up all the way up the heat there. Okay. So I guess I need one colonist to give him food to evolve the colonist. What's this? Oh, that's the evolution screen. Okay. Alright, so... Do I pick you up and just put you wherever? Okay, so... Have a berry. So I'm guessing Did that make any wolf? No. no I didn't. That's a wolf. Okay. I guess I bring it over to the research station. Or not. Okay, so what do I do with this thing now that... 
guess I have to choose some means of research or Well, I'm confused. So I need to feed, which I need to make three colonists and then feed six of them. And collect there and have them make 30 wool. Okay. There's an easy solution for this. More robots. First off, storage facility. Let's sit you right here. Oh yeah, I actually forgot to add the new robots to Smith and Son, so... Let's go here. Make storage, make the crew gear. And what did you do? Oh, you're the recharging bot for Smith and Son. No, for the woodcutters guild, I'm sorry. 35. Cutter's Guild goes down there. Okay. I wonder if the colonists can starve to death. I guess we're about to find out. Because I'm not feeding him because I'm busy making uh, more storage to store their love. Which sounds even creepier than I thought it would. Okay, now that that's done, we'll just drop that off there. And, uh... Say, somebody needs to be recharged over in the mushroom. There's 29. There's 29. That's 19. There's 29. Right, more robots. Grab a log. Okay, so you are actually going to be special for one of two reasons. So, my plan is, instead of having... Instead of having the robots that will be feeding the colonists uh, go to each food bin and feed them that way, I'm going to have a set, another group of robots take the food from the various food bins because I have technically three kinds of food. I'm counting the eggs as well. And then one for the love. So I'm going to have three robots gather the, uh, the food to drop them off here. More robots feed all the colonists. And then probably another robot gather all the love and drop it off. So I'm going to need eight more, co eight more robots. Probably nine more robots. And I said this guy is special because what we're going to have him do first You know what I just realized he's going to need to use eight things He's going to move to one storage pick up four things drop off four things move to another storage Yeah, he's not gonna have one stop. Okay, never mind. Stop uh, clear that, stop, 
I'm going to take Mark 39 and drop him off right here. Apparently no one's going to rewind Mark 4, so we'll just do that ourselves. I don't remember what Mark 4 did. Oh yeah, Mark 4 grabbed planks. I not have a charging bot for the... I don't know why it has him, uh, says that he's holding a log. I mean, his last job was holding, was ferrying logs around, so maybe that's why. I'm actually running low on plank storage. Well, not running low on plank storage. I'm running low on planks in storage, I guess. Would be a better option. Yeah, I'm now down to 37 planks. I need 24 of them just to build the remaining storage facilities. And I'm sure once the uh, I find a usage for continual usage for poles, I'll probably start running out of poles too. Okay, they actually maxed out gear storage, and he's just continuing on. Alright, so, where is the gear maker? I'm gonna have you stop. And record, instead of do forever, we will do until question mark. Okay, I was just looking right at it. Oh, that's the question mark. Until crude gear storage is full. And we get a badge for auto shroomy mushrooms collected 2000. Really? How do we collect 2,000 mushrooms if we can only store 100? And as far as I know, no one's really eating them yet. So now that's filled. Let's see what he does. He just keeps on going. Okay then. Stop. Now that's the guy who picks up the gears. Some plank that's recharged. Pick. Right, so who are you? Mark 37. Yeah, okay. We're gonna have you stop. Record. Do until... Crude storage is full. I hit the wrong button for that. Alright, so then the guy holding the planks gets set back to do forever. Not planks, the gears. And go. So 
Let's add that to the massive pile. Alright, so now he probably shouldn't be uh, burning through planks left and right. Okay, but as for this robot... What I want you to do is I want you to go here... Take four berries. And then drop them off. I'm gonna have you do that forever. You know what? Do until. Oh, then I'll probably stop the. Uh... We'll just have him do it forever. So just realize it's probably gonna run the script until this reads its full. And once full, it'll probably stop the script, so... Which means that once I empty out the gear storage, the guy making the gears probably won't start it back up again. Yeah. Alright, so now that he's moving berries over there, we're going to need another robot to do the same for mushrooms, and probably a third for eggs. And the lumberjacks are out of power again. Although I do have plenty of logs just sitting around nearby, so... And then we get another badge, auto story, anything stored, 5,000. Okay. So we're going to go over here. Going to record. Keep forgetting to do things that I'm doing things out of order. And they're maxed out, okay. What we're going to do is we're going to get rid of everything there. I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna pick up a loose mushroom, pick up four loose mushrooms. We're on the same store, so it doesn't really matter. We're uh, moving to mushroom storage multiple times. Then we're going to move here. Three. Three. Stop for a second. Cord. Uh, let's move the mushroom storage nine. That's one, two, three. Four. Yeah, that's four. Okay. I'm gonna do that forever, and then continue. So he should technically grab four mushrooms. And then take them over to this storage facility. And drop them all off. Of course, now he's at seven. I'll only be grabbing three. One, two, three, four. Let's see how many he drops off. He's only dropping off three for some strange reason. Doesn't look like he's got anything in his hands. Just in case. Stop. Drop whatever you're holding, and then continue. I guess it skips one? It's weird. We're out of 
power. Yeah, it's only grabbing three at once. Why is that? Both only grabbing three at once. I guess I shouldn't complain. I mean, these things are actually filling up rather quickly. Alright, I probably do need one for the eggs, but, uh... How many eggs do we have? I only have 17 eggs. I only got one chicken grabbing it. I'm only grabbing eggs from one chicken, so it's... Don't really... It's not really a major issue. And what I should do, however... Is get a robot to feed the colonists, because... I'm sure they probably need food. Alright, so what we're going to have you, you're gonna go over here, you're gonna grab a berry. Feed it to the colonist. So all colonists in that area. Do forever and continue. And I'm going to want another one. Basically, do the same for mushrooms, so that way they get uh, what passes for a balanced diet in this game. For now, it's basically berries and mushrooms. I'm gonna need yet another one to just simply collect all the wub. Alright, so we're gonna have you go over here, grab a mushroom. to have you feed colonists in this 13 by 13 area. I think that's the same area. Could be mistaken. And we're going to have you do that forever. Now go. And it is not the same area. It's actually one block higher. So we're going to go here, record move this up one, empty the hands so we can start over, and then play. I'm going to drop this mushroom back off. Alright, so now I'm going to need yet another robot. going to do is you are going to go to this area, pick up the wub, and you are going to go store it. We'll do that forever, and we are going to have this location by 13 and go which means that if we stop you with your hands just like every other resource we're just gonna we're gonna shrink the size by one to 11 so technically by two in each dimension and uh Hopefully that's the center of the area. Yeah. Might be a little bit off of the sides. No, I don't think so.
So that way, in case they produce any love outside of the uh, feeding ground area. I said, what's that red thing? And I realized it's the character. Okay, so we're going to technically need two more teams. Magenta team will be the caretakers, and they're going to be the guys primarily responsible for uh, anything involving the colonists. So feeding them, bathing them, collecting the love, all that fun stuff. They are that becomes part of the caretaker. Group. So that's three of them there. What I'm not having part of the caretaker group. So the guys moving the food from the farms to these guys are at power again. the farms to the uh, caretaker storage facility of course what I'm also going to need is a recharging robot for the caretakers I just realized that uh, so Mushmen are out of power again. As is the recharging bot for the Stonecutters Guild. And Stonecutters Guild only has, what, three members? Charge of the guy digging for stones and the guy hauling the stones. So. so I'm going to need a recharging robot for the caretakers. I'm going to need to build storage facility for the uh, caretaker storage for the eggs. I don't need, I don't have much eggs right now. And I'm also going to need, well, he's clo actually close to making the maximum amount of uh, wool that I need. Why are those red? Built the dispenser. In the incubator. So now all I gotta really do is make two more colonists. Alright, so now that this is maxed out, Why does it take five food but you can only hold four? Stick you there. Grab one more seed. That's the colonists. I have now the colonization complete and we get the colonization commemorative slab added to the totem pole.
somewhere. That's done. And we get a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, T-shirt, baseball cap, direction sign, sign, and a crude scooter. You unlock the Wonder. Wonder number one wardrobe. Special storage for your special hats and tops. Okay, cool. What's this? A whole new set of plans to complete and certifications to earn? Yes, of course. The overseeing robot doesn't much care about whether or not we work on things. So, we now have access to the science certification. Uh, farming fruit, farming vegetables, and a whole bunch more that requires more research. Lots and lots of more research. So on that note, what I'm going to do is, before I forget, I'm going to get one more robot. Alright, so wind you up. Ford, what we are going to do is, we're going to recharge you. Do in a 13 by 13 area uh, centered I think that's their area of operation do forever now go okay who's an add you to the caretaking group okay stop board the areas don't match exactly it's that way okay. yeah okay now that now they're accurate of course it doesn't cover the guys you no know, sitting over here but Actually, I forgot the third colonist. You over here. Alright, so I'm probably going to need a second robot to um, give them wub. Well, to collect all the wub, because it's just literally sitting down all over the place. That's where he sits now. Apparently they're sitting on their heads. Makes about as much sense as anything else I've seen in the game. But as I was saying, I'm probably going to need to figure out... Uh, well, build another robot to collect all the wub, and then... the science certification and we'll also do fruit and also tag vegetables as well so I was wondering if we are going to get deal with fruit trees not certain about vegetables where are pumpkins haven't actually seen pumpkins so I don't know about that, and then we need to complete 12 units of research. So, we're going to have to figure out how the research facility works. We're going to have to build another robot to collect all the love, because it's definitely getting out of hand. We need to figure out what new things we can build. So, the wardrobe. I'm guessing that's where we can change all the outfits of the character. So, let's just... Let's just plop that there for now. 
we'll build that eventually. If we look at the workbench, what new components can we build? I wonders, I wonders, I wonders. Oh, we can literally build the scooter directly out of the thing. What's the scooter for? Oh, we'll eventually find out what the scooter is for next time. Because I'm going to call it here. Everybody stay safe from the plague and, um, have a good day.